Hi everyone, this is Beck Tench back with a Tinderbox tutorial. Um, today I want to talk about a situation that I find myself in sometimes, which is that I've got a Tinderbox file and kind of a look and a feel that I'm happy with, the color scheme, notes, everything looks good. Um, but then I want to just kind of spin off an area of that file that looks completely different than the rest. And the typical use case for me in doing this is I want a space that uh, is reminiscent of a whiteboard with a lot of post-it notes on it. I don't want all of my Tinderbox document to look like that. I just want an area where I can sort of whiteboard and brainstorm ideas and then come back to my Tinderbox file and have it look a little bit more professional and tidy and structured. Um, and I also want that without having to do a bunch of extra clicking. I don't want to set a bunch of attributes on the fly. I don't want to do stamps or prototypes. I just want it to double click to create a note and for that note to just look like a post-it note. And so this morning I got to figuring out how to make that happen. I actually realized it's pretty easy, but I know that the me before this morning wouldn't have put all of these pieces together, so I thought I'd create a video to show you how. So what I was doing was um, some uh, brainstorming around OKRs, which is this concept of objectives and key results for planning. And so I created a container in my planning document and I just wanted an OK, OKR space that looked like a whiteboard. And, uh, and I have that now, um, and it's just this sort of container note. And inside that note are some of these, these uh, objectives and key results. And I was doing a little bit of um, playing around to show that it was all working before doing this video. So here's some untitled notes that when I double click them, they just look like post-it notes and I can put long lengthy sentences on them and they, uh, they all work just fine. Um, so how did I get to this space when if you go anywhere else in my document, uh, my notes when you double click look like this? And the answer to that is the infamous thing that you've probably seen if you spend any time around Tinderbox uh, forums, the infamous on ad. And on ad, I have played with some, but I just hadn't put it all together. So what you need to do is to create an, any just typical old note. Uh, let's call this one brainstorming space. And uh, you know, this note, if we double click in it, becomes a container and we have notes inside of it. Um, to create post-it note look for the notes that automatically appear inside this. We just need to open up the inspector, which is command one, click on the little gear at the very bottom and go to the action code um, right here. Okay, so we're gonna put some action code in, um, in this inspector window and then everything that gets added into this note will inherit those features. Um, and if we copy something from OneNote and we paste it in this one, they're going to get these features instead of the features they already have. And anything we just create new in the container is going to have these features. So how do we figure out what features to add is a tricky thing. And so what I did was I did a bunch of playing around with attributes in um, Attribute Browser. But what you can do is go to um, Mark Anderson's excellent Tinderbox FAQ um, file. Um, I guess it's, this is his Tinderbox reference file. It's called Acrobat FAQ. And, uh, and just click on attributes. And this uh, has every single thing that you can set in, in Tinderbox. And often it will show you um, exactly how to set it and what the default values are and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so I went through here and I figured out how to make a uh, a, contain, a note rather it looked like a post-it. I wrote all of those things down, played around with it a lot until I found exactly what I wanted and then I have that that code collected and I can then add it to the on ad thing and make it work. So what is that code? Well, I'm going to show you by looking at the other one that has it all there and I'll explain what they are. So this is my this is my OKR container with the post-it note on ad. I just selected it and that's why it appeared. Uh, first off I wanted to find a, uh, a kind of a post-it note yellow. I like kind of the darker yellow post-it notes instead of the really pale ones. So poppy was my default color and I wanted it to be cooler uh, to, to make it not so orange. So cooler poppy ended up doing that for me. Another little hint is that when you're on 
the FAQ. Um, if you go to this and the styling, uh, you can see a chart that has all of the colors and what they're called, which is very helpful. Uh, and and uh, so you can know how to even do something like cool versus cooler versus coolest. And I don't even know if you can do the coolest, but um, we, could, we could play with it and see. But anyway, I wanted you to know about that as well. So back to Tinderbox. Um, so I told it I wanted to be a cooler poppy after several different other iterations that didn't look right. Uh, and I made it six by six, which makes it a square and gives me kind of a nice big canvas to write a long post-it note if I want. I told it to have a shadow because I wanted a little bit of that uh, realistic look, but I wanted the shadow to be really blurry and really big. I didn't want it to look like a drop shadow so much as just a suggestion that there was some, 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 some depth to it. Uh, and I, I had to also create lightest black as the color as opposed to lighter black to make it really, really, really faint. I put the alignment of the title in the center instead of left aligned as it normally is, and I made it a sketchy font, and this is actually the font uh, that was in the captions, and I thought, yeah, that'd be probably be a good font for, for post-it notes, so I just grabbed the name of that font from the caption documentation on Mark's website and pasted it there. So this creates a situation that we have in the OKR. So I'm just going to copy this text and then go to my container note, which has no on action, and paste it. The other thing that's important is to hit enter. If you don't hit enter, it won't take the paste, um, which I learned also. So now we have a situation where, let me just go ahead and close that out. If we go into this space where our notes used to be gray when we would click them, now when we click them, they look like post-it notes, which is kind of cool. And if we wanted, if we had a whole bunch of stuff in the thing and you wanted them to all now look like this, uh, one way we can do that is to take the stuff that doesn't exist, uh, cut it, and paste it, and then on the paste, it will um, it'll look like that. And if that had linkages or anything like that, those things would have been preserved in the so that is what I have been doing um, this morning in Tinderbox is creating a little post-it note space um, so that I can uh, play with my ideas and figure out how I want the year to go. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and if you take a look at my OKRs, you'll see that I want to blog more in 2020. So maybe I will, um, I will have more Tinderbox videos available because of that.